I'm at your door. Your eyes are like, why are you here? Judging by my steel, I got something to do here. Give up the money or the angel cries two tears. Front of your crib sounding like Chinese New Year. Brat, 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 cat, 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 cat. Brat, 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 cat, 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 cat. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy JD here coming at you with another review. And today we're going to be reviewing a pair of sneakers that I think is seriously slept on and that is the Adidas 4.0 Ultra Boost in the Chinese New Year colorway. So I was able to very easily pick these up from the Adidas uh, Germany website. These are actually sitting in a full size run all across Adidas Europe and that is unbelievable to me for two reasons. So first of all, it's crazy to see how much the hype has died on Ultra Boost. I know last year's version of the Chinese New Year sold out very quickly and this year's version is just sitting. And let's not talk about hype for a second. My reason number two why I'm surprised these are still available is because I believe this version of the Chinese New Year looks way, way, way better than last year's version. And I'm gonna get into why. So just overall, I prefer the Ultra Boost 4.0 model to the 3.0. Uh, firstly, because I like that the cages are not translucent like last year's version. It's back to that matte black, matte cages, and I like that. And also, I just really like the primed pattern. It reminds me of the 1.0, and it looks better than last year's version for sure. And speaking of the prime knit, I'm a huge fan of this red and black uh, mixture that they have going on here, that sriracha and soy sauce combo. Um, the, the red just pops a lot more on this year's version. Last year's red looked kind of maroonish almost and this one's a lot more, I would call it like a fiery red. Uh, and that looks really nice to me. Um, moving up on to the laces. Uh, the laces have this camo grayish uh, a pattern here and I think it looks really nice uh, with these uh, bright red uh, lace aglets. This same pattern can be found also on the insole of the shoe. Moving on up to what is probably my favorite part of the shoe, that is this Chinese symbol here located on the tongue. Uh, if you look closely, you'll see that uh, this symbol includes these uh, canine teeth here. And that is because this is the year of the dog in Chinese culture. So I like that Adidas put a good level, good amount of research and good amount of detail in this year's version because I mean if you look at last year's version of the shoe and look at the symbol on the tongue like I mean I, I can see that C and Y but Adidas could have just dropped that shoe and named it the Adidas Ultra Boost New York City because and you can interpret that as an NYC as well I mean like, like it's literally the least Chinese looking thing I've ever seen so um, yeah, this, this year's version is just a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to the uh, inner lining of the shoe. I know in pictures it kind of looked like it had a leather inner lining, but it's actually more of this like plush synthetic material, but it feels really nice, feels really uh, luxurious. I also like the uh, cage here, like I mentioned earlier, the matte black cage, and uh, on the heel cup, the matte black Ultra Boost 2. And finally, another aspect of the shoe that I love is this fiery red outsole. I think that looks great, a nice little pop. I know it's at the bottom of the shoe, but I think that looks awesome. And by the way, how nice does this hoodie look with these shoes? And yeah, that's basically uh, my review of the Ultra Boost 4.0 Chinese New Year. If you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also hit that bell to get notifications every time I post a video. Uh, subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching on feet coming right now